All right, so we just watched those two episodes of Attack on Titan. It's a lot of content to do at once. So instead of waiting an entire week since the episodes come out on Sunday, um, to give for, to, for you guys to hear what we think of it, uh, we decided to do a little mini episode for just the two Attack on Titans episodes, uh, which we thought was going to be pretty cool. So, first off, how you feel about being on the couch? It's not as uh, it's not as cool as I thought it would be. Really, what's wrong with the couch? Makes me feel short, and I, I think I am short now. Uh, okay, all right. I guess I, I guess I give that to you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not with this. <laughs> Speaking of short, Captain Levi. No. Um, oh. Where do you want to start? Start with episode one. Episode one. So Aaron, Armin, and Mikasa meet for the first time. Uh, in like what four years? Well, Mika's a well. They they saw each other in the blimp, but they didn't get to actually talk. I was talking about episode one one like first episode but yeah yeah that too so yeah they they meet up <laughs> for the first time in a while um uh, yeah and they they talk uh briefly they throw hands a lot it got intense it got crazy intense for no reason too aaron verbally attacked them pretty fucking seriously i would say um he really got on their asses and he whooped Armin to a pulp. Yeah, he beat the fuck out of that nigga. After calling uh, Mikasa a slave. He called them both slaves. How did he call Armin a slave? Oh, yeah, to, to Bertholdt's memory. He said he has Bertholdt's memory, so he has the enemy in his brain. Um, he said that's the reason he keeps visiting Annie and all that shit, which I don't know how Aaron knew that Armin was visiting Annie. Yeah, I didn't get that either. That flew over my head, I guess. Yeah, me too. Um, but he said that he was a slave and he's not really, he said he's in the slave mentality, all that. Then he really got on Mika's ass saying, yeah, nah, you don't even really fuck with me like that. (laughs) (laughs) He was like, the only reason you protect me like this is because of your Ackerman DNA. You imprinted on me when you were supposed to imprint on the king. And that's why you protect me so viciously all that shit but that didn't make sense to me and i think it didn't make sense to you either the fact that somehow in their dna they're designed to defend somebody like i don't get that well the thing about attack on titan is that can kind of happen because you know how the king was passing down his will of peace so ackermans could be passed down because they the ackermans were made to protect that's what aaron was saying hmm I guess, I guess. It's so just it, kind of weird. It could be the same shit, really. Um, But he was on her ass. He was not holding back. Any, he was not treating them like a friend. Well, he said he hated them since he saw them. That was some so, bullshit. Yeah, that was a lot. That was some bullshit. Because we both know that Aaron did not always hate them. Yeah, of course not. Because... If there was one thing that Aaron always tried to do in season one, two, and three, it was protect them. He never wanted them to even be out on the battlefield. Now, he didn't even want that. He wanted them to stay back and chill. Like, he wanted to handle all that. He didn't even like it when Mikaza would have to come and protect him. Yeah. And even, I think... Wait, no. Yeah, no, I think Connie said that. Because... He, he was expect. He said that a couple episodes ago. Um, he was like, "Is that the same Aaron you know?" Because before he would try to protect you guys, like he wouldn't have you guys battling or some. Oh shit like yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. said something along those lines because in Marley, he was even standing there like it's now or never, Mikasa. Uh, like when he was like whispering to himself because he was expecting her to come through and put herself in danger for him, and that's not what he would have done before. So I'm not believing that Aaron always hated Mikasa. I'm not believing that. So how do you think he came to learn the truth about her being a slave? Zeke. Well, how would he know that? Just like years of research, I guess. I mean, that one nigga was doing all the research. What was his name? Case. Sfak. Spock. Ksav. Ksav. Sav. Oh yeah, that's it. Right. Sav. Sav. Yeah. Him, yeah. Um, yeah, he was doing a lot of research, so I guess Zeke just has a lot of fucking... Even Aaron... Uh, yeah, Aaron was like, 
he Zeke knows more about Titans than even Marley does. And that was the second. Yeah, that's the second episode. Yeah, no, that's the second episode. So we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, then Aaron beat the fuck out of Armin. Beat the shit out that nigga. For no reason. And taunted him for it. Yeah, he didn't need to do that. Yeah. He wasn't treating them like friends at all. And the whole time, Gabby just sitting there spooked. Uh, yeah, she spooked. didn't say a word. Gabby didn't say shit. Quiet as hell. Yeah. But she was talking all that hot shit before. She knows he's like 100% like the enemy now. And you know, this is going to set her back. Yeah. I feel like. Because, what was that, two episodes ago? When she got shown mercy by the dad. And I think she was starting to feel a little bit more. Like, even with the, all the family shit that went on. I think Gabby was starting to feel a little bit more of a situation of... All these people aren't bad. I think, oh, go ahead. I actually think it's going to set her forward now that I think about it. Because now she can place all her hatred solely on Aaron. And now she can kind of like get rid of the Devil Island moniker that she spits mm. all the time. So like seeing that they're fighting amongst themselves. Yeah. So she's not going to hate all of parody. She'll just hate the Jaegerists. Yeah, just them. So she'll team up. You think she'll team up with like the scouts and shit. Yeah, yeah. Because she said, like, after hearing her say, um, you know, kill me, not Falco, yeah. that's all I needed to hear to know that she's had a change of heart. I think That's true, because, no, but I think, to an extent, she's always wanted to protect Falco, though. Yeah, but she's like... Because she was pissed when that nigga even grabbed onto her when she was going up to the shit. True. She was pissed. True. But I feel like she comes off as an adult now, and I don't know why. Just somebody who's a little bit more responsible than... She last was. I guess we'll have to see because I don't feel like I got enough um, of her in the episode to really get a feel for that. Yeah, there was not enough at all. She spoke. Yeah, we like got like no words. Gabby, which is cool because I'm not a fan of her. But uh, I'm kind of a fan of Gabby. You're a Gabby fan. I'm a Gabbyist, a Gabbist, a Gabbite. A Gabbite. That sounds terrible. <laughs> um. Okay, I can rock with that. So then, them niggas went to the forest. That was the best part. That shit was intense. That was crazy. Uh, Zeke did the scream. Got all them niggas. Turned all of them into Titans. And you said that Levi was going to take an L there. I thought he was going to get mortally wounded. Yeah. I knew good and well that that nigga Levi... It's going to do what the fuck it takes. I knew he was going to kill them niggas and have to move on. He's a lot more battle-hardened than I give him credit for sometimes. Fam, at the end of the day, killing comrades is what they do. Yeah, he's had to make way harder choices than that. Yeah, he's yeah. had to make much tougher decisions. He had to make the decision to let his best friend, Commander Irwin, die. Yeah. yeah. For the greater good. Yeah. All of them soldiers charged into the ba- the fucking uh, charged at the Beast Titan just to get mowed down. <laughs> you know. For Levi to be able to kill the Beast Titan. Yeah, and he didn't even kill it. And he didn't even kill it. <laughs> he still hasn't killed it. Uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll get that a little bit later. But yeah. Um that shit was crazy. That was incredible. I was not ready for that shit at all. The one thing I have to... The only bad thing that I could possibly say is I'm still not fucking with that 3D animation. On the Beast Titan exclusively, it looks bad, but on everything else, it's kind of okay. You don't mind 3D animation on the Attack Titan? Yeah, that's for the most part the okay. The Warhammer Titan? I don't remember the how that one went. I didn't like the way it looked. Like in the 3D, I wasn't fucking with it. Huh? I I'm get- not crazy about the 3D. I don't mind the 3D animation on the um, Colossal. I don't know why, but for some reason, that makes sense to me. But they could kind of just go without the 3D. In I- this I'm show. not a fan of the 3D animation, and it- this is the final season. Yeah, it doesn't do much for it. Like it doesn't. Well, add it's to because the 3D animation is cheaper. It is, oh, okay. 3D animation is much cheaper than 2D animation. That's why um, animation studios normally use it. But with a budget like this, it's probably like... That's what I'm thinking. And on a final season. 
Come on now, there's no reason. That's what I'm saying. They might as well just use the bread they got and go all the way. Yeah. That's that's the only reason they use 3D animation is because it's cheaper and it just do, it doesn't look better. I don't think anybody thinks the 3D animation looks better than 2D. Hell no. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Uh. What what else happened in the a lot happened in the forest. Yeah, Levi got his uh his shit back. Why didn't Levi <laughs> drink any of the the wine? I think he's just like when to keep his mind sharp. Yeah, he has a, a sense of duty that not anybody else in the show has, other than Irwin. Yeah, because he just wanted to drink tea. Yeah, yeah. He knew what what you know it takes to get the job done. You can't be out there lacking. Yeah, right? and they said that it would make them freeze. They, that when did they say that? I thought um, they said that after they drank it. No, yeah, no, duh. They didn't. Think it would make them freeze and drink it, waiting <laughs> to freeze. No, they found out. So they thought the effect would be they would freeze. So they were nervous about that. Yeah. Which still doesn't make sense because they definitely should have swapped out some of those soldiers, knowing that Zeke had the power to make them niggas freeze. Um, did word even get out to them? Yeah, they knew that. Because even Levi said he said, "Wait, so it doesn't make them freeze." Oh, yeah, they do know that. Yeah, wait, that's a dumbass decision. <clears throat> that's a way to make it. They're probably too far away, and they didn't want to switch up the roster just because that could cause confusion or leak information or something that's like that. That's a stupid-ass decision, now that I'm thinking about it. But imagine if they brought, like, a Jaegerist in disguise. That could mess everything up. Okay, <laughs> but what's the point of having 30 guards on watch and 29 of them have the ability to freeze whenever the prisoner says so. Uh Okay, well, at the end of the day, if the one is Levi, and it would be a yeah. one-on-one versus the beast... It don't matter, I guess. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. It don't matter. matter. That's the best... The man, that guy's crazy. No, Levi's more dangerous than any Titan. Except for maybe the Colossal, I would say. What about the Warhammer? The Colossal is the most dangerous Titan. Yeah. And I think I got Zeke more dangerous than any other Titan. Zeke? Not Zeke. Um, Levi. Levi, more <laughs> dangerous than any other Titan. For sure. Yeah. 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 Um, We got right. Floke pulling up on the fucking... <laughs> they beat him to a pulp. <laughs> they beat him to a pulp. <laughs> they beat the fuck out that old man. They did not. Floke didn't have to do that. Yeah, that's kind of like... He didn't have to do that. That's he didn't have to do that. crazy. You don't have to do that. That's how you terrify, like, the people who are on your... Well, you kind of want people, like, terrified of you. Yeah. So, I see it. But Floke's goal... While Aaron is the villain, I still believe Aaron's goal is salvation. Floke's goal is kind of just... Be a, a douche. It's just to be a dick. <laughs> like, Floke just wants to be a dick as much as he can. Some <laughs> people just get uh, get power and go crazy with it. Yeah. And I think Floke is one of those people. I can't be mad at him, though. No, I'm mad at him. I'm going to be honest. I'm slight mad at him. I mean, he's been down all his life, just like in real life. You can't really be mad at them like they, they never had power before, and they don't know how to treat it when they get it. But to have them beat the fuck out that old man just because he could, I'm not rocking with it. That was ridiculous. Like, I could understand. Like, I'm not in agreement with the methods that Aaron is going through. But I can Agreed. respect the end goal and I his motives. I don't know if I can respect the end goal. Because number one, I don't know what it is. I Number okay. Two. <laughs> yes, I don't. Know, I don't know exactly what it is, but I, I think I. I think I respect it. Ah, I can't. Uh, too many people have died. Too many people who weren't like directly in the line of fire have died just because of him being crazy. I still don't think he's crazy. I think he's crazy. I don't think he's crazy. I think he's just too many steps ahead for you and I to see. So you think that Aaron is crazy? Um. So w- one thing I noticed. Um, I don't know if this was the second episode or the first episode, but he said he was like 
gaining some memories of his father. Mm -hmm. Now, the same way that Armin is getting memories from Bertholdt and they're kind of like taking over his brain, Mm -hmm. I think those memories are taking over Aaron's brain upon retrospect because he seems to have a bloodlust. Like the way he was describing how his father like killed some kids, he said he smeared them like bugs, which is crazy. (laughs) That is crazy. <laughs> I think that that violence in his father is kind of like bleeding into him. And mind you, like his father isn't the most violent, crazy type. Like we learned that in the second episode. But still, like what? Nah, that second episode, that was pretty violent and crazy. But yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. But I, man, Aaron is getting definitely like that personality in him now. Mm-hmm has to be some of his father like bleeding into him because that's not that's not the old Aaron. No, this definitely isn't the old Aaron, but I don't know if I don't think that that's because of his father. I think that's just because he's learned more things as he's gone on. And I think at the start of the show, Aaron was very naive. And I think as he's oh, been sure. going on, he's been learning like a, a lot of things are going to have to change. If I want to get to my end goal and I'm not positive what that end goal is, <laughs> but I know that he's going to have to change some things to get there. Cause that old naive shit that he was with isn't cutting it anymore. I mean, I think a little bit of like the old naiveness is going to like carry over. Like how he still wants, you were saying it when we were watching the video, he still wants to kill all the Titans. And I believe he will like, do that somehow like the titans will no longer exist by the end of the show i'm pretty sure okay so let me ask the million dollar question now that we've both had a little bit time to think of it do you think that aaron is with this euthanasia plan that zeke is on it it's so hard to tell but i think (laughs) yeah i think yeah i think no and why It's all like just f- how you feel, though. Like, I think <laughs> I just don't think something in me is telling me that Aaron is playing Zeke. The old dude, Sav, right? Was his name Sav? Uh, yeah. Something yeah. like that. The old man with the baseball. Yeah. Told Zeke that he was the key to the lock, but the founder is the one who is going to be the one to choose what happens. Right. So I think he's going along with what Zeke says. So Zeke will put the key in the lock and open it. And then Aaron will reveal whatever his true plan is. I just do not think that we went through four seasons of Aaron rebelling against everything (laughs) and not doing nothing by the book. To see him go along with Zeke's plan. It's it's so up in the air. Like, I really, really hope that he makes the right choice. But what is the right choice? That is a good question. What is the right choice? What the hell? And he still hasn't even, like, used the war hammer or anything like that. that dude, I want to see that so bad. Yeah. Why have we gone? What, what, what episode did he get the war hammer? Like, episode six? Something like that, yeah. What are we on? Like... 13? 14? Yeah. When the fuck are we going to get to see Aaron as the Warhammer? We might not ever see it. Bro, if we don't ever see it, I'm going to be so fucking mad. I'm going to be... Nah, ain't no way Aaron goes until the end of this series without turning into a Titan again. I think it'll. it's very likely. It's, Hell no. It's very... Because who's he going to fight? There's no, like, Titan to fight. What? Uh, Armin? Ar- nah, Armin ain't gonna do the, it. The fucking niggas are about to pull up from Marley right now. But who, the Cart Titan? The Cart Titan is already there, mind you. Okay, but nigga, there's way more than the Cart Titan. Who? The Claw Guy? He's Reiner! Oh, yeah. And they wouldn't, like, make, give him all those, like, crazy new designs if he wasn't gonna do, like, a final fight. Exactly. Yeah, okay. He has to do it. He has to... But with Reiner, though, that's kind of like unbecoming. I, I don't know if it's with Reiner, but he's going to have to turn into a Titan at some point. Yeah, probably last episode. Nah, they can't wait that long. 
They'll probably do it the last episode of the this half season. Is this the last episode of the half season, or is that the next one? If this is the last episode in the half season, I'll be we're pissed. going to have some <laughs> problems. Those writers are going to have to see me. Nah, ain't no way. Yeah, that would be nuts. Hopefully no more earthquakes. Yeah, the rumbling. Okay. You feel yeah, me? that... that. <laughs> Yeah. Distasteful, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was distasteful. All right, so do you think that... What do you think happened with that final explosion? <sighs> Actually, before that, how do you feel about Zeke? After that Zeke episode? Um, I think we we are kind of on the same page. I think we were vibing because <laughs> I think we can like... And a lot of the viewers <laughs> can like see some similarities in Zeke's childhood. Um, you and I specifically have had some rather difficult childhoods. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I can. I'm laughing because it hurts. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes that's all you know how to do. <laughs> but Zeke is a. Uh, I, I really like Zeke. <laughs> He's a good guy, man. We're about to have a mini therapy session, yeah. right? <laughs> no, nah, man. I, I feel for Zeke a little bit now. <laughs> you good? You need I, a hug? I'm working through it, man. You all right? I'm working yeah. through it. Yeah. Nah, um. I fuck with Zeke. I fuck yeah. with Zeke now. One hundred percent. It's just that uh, the euthanization plan. Yeah. See that that part of Zeke, I don't fuck with. I understand a little bit more why he's doing what he's doing, and like, you know when, you know when you're taking a math test, right? Yes. And have you ever looked back at your test and you did all the right work? For the problem, but you still got the wrong solution. Oh my god, I hate that shit. <laughs> That's <laughs> like, some bullshit. Like you did all the right steps. Yeah. You had every and somehow you just got the wrong solution. Oh my god. That's kind of what Zeke did. Cause I don't think that euthanasia is the right plan. I I feel him, I get his motives, I see everything that he's going with. But at the end of the day, nah, I can't mark that answer correct. You know, I kind of like, and not to talk about the promised Neverland, but I see like parallels, like how killing the demons would solve the problem. Killing the Titans, the Eldians would kind of solve the problem. I think it would, but I don't, I don't agree with it. But that's like mass genocide. It's not genocide if they can't have kids. Um, Yeah, he's, he's not like butchering everybody. He wouldn't be killing anybody, but... I feel like there are better solutions. But what though? I think that couldn't you just make them not Eldian anymore? Is that if that's a thing then? Because if the issue is like the Eldian blood, couldn't you kind of just change the makeup of their blood instead of making them not be able to have children? I'm sure there's probably a way around it if he dedicated a little bit more time and research into it. Yeah, I, I feel like because they said that the founding titan can. Alter their DNA and their genes and shit. Yeah. That's, that seems dope. So wouldn't that be a better solution? So they wouldn't be able to turn into Titans anymore? Like, they would be the same DNA-wise as a Marleyan. Yeah. Or a Ackerman or whatever. Or somebody from across the globe. Yeah. On, on Yonka, whatever his name is. Oh, yeah. On, on Yonka Pong. I feel like... <laughs> I don't know how you say that right every time. <laughs> Because I fuck with dude. On Young Capone is the gold. It would be wrong for me to disrespect my man Sasagio. Shout out On Young Capone. The honorary scout. Yeah. On Young Capone the gold. So what did you think about, uh, first of all, would you snitch no. on your own? You wouldn't? No. Okay, wouldn't that's sn- not the question I thought you were asking. Go ahead. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> my bad. Would you snitch on your own parents as Zeke did to save your own skin? Oh, um, the ultimate fate of the snitched on people being Titan, Paradise Island, Paradise Island. Yeah, um, that's a tough one because Zeke was in a really difficult position there. Um, I honestly don't know because Zeke was going to take a lot of L's for shit that he wasn't doing. Um. But I don't know if that was the correct solution. I think it. Uh, I think it was. I feel like he could have worked some shit out with his parents. I 
I think they were too radical. They had too much intel. I think he made the right choice, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Because that the looks on your own parents' faces when you betray your own two parents, the ones that cared for you, you they sell didn't really them care out. They did care for them like that, though. But still, like, they're still your parents. Like, to you, yeah, your parents love you. Yeah. But um, that, oh, my God. That look on their faces. But even still, though, I feel like... There were other solutions. I just don't see. I don't see what he could have done. I think he listened to uh, Sav. Sav, yeah, and he made the right choice. Even Sav knew like the severity of the situation. Like he was panicking even harder than. Uh, no, yeah, but if the situation is he wanted to live as long as possible, then nigga, fuck was the point? <laughs> like you went and got yourself a Titan. Yeah. I think maybe he knows, uh, like, some type of secret to, like, not die that after 14 gonna years. Die. He gonna die. Really? He's going to die. Uh-huh. I can feel it. He'll, he'll be lucky if he even get 14. Damn. Oh, I thought it was 13 this whole time. Is it 13? I, I don't know. No, nah, it, it, it couldn't be. Why not? Because I think the guy said, like, I'm on my 13th year or something when he grew when uh, Zeke grew up. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. That nigga Zeke was a pitcher, though. Zeke can throw. <laughs> Zeke is MLB status. Man, that dude. Yeah, nah, he was going crazy. So, final question. Or do you have any more questions before I ask the final question? Um, It depends on what the final question is. Final question. That last bomb at the end. Oh, okay. That's, that would be my last question. What do you make of it? I know Levi's not dead. Yeah, and they couldn't dispose yeah, no. of Levi. I like know that. Levi's not dead. That'd be a cheap shot if they killed yeah, Levi. Yeah, that would be some bitch shit. Yeah. But, do you think Zeke is up and kicking after this? So, first off, I got to salute to Zeke for actually, like, having the moxie to do that. Would you have done it? I would have done that. Because if that would have allowed me to potentially kill Levi, the most dangerous, like, person alive, yeah, I would have done that. I would have that done that in a heartbeat, but I don't think he's dead. I, he's probably like within an inch of his life. I don't think he's dead though. I think Levi's probably gonna get up, try to finish him off or something, and then something's gonna happen. Kind of like last time. Yeah, kinda where like last time. Zeke or Levi got him, and then uh, Car Titan came, scooped him up. I hate the Car Titan so much. Car Titan is the worst Titan. Yeah, Car Titan might as well not be a Titan. It's yeah. worthless. It's just an abnormal. Like it, there's no, there's nothing special about it. It just walks on all four legs. Can it speak too? Or oh, what? it can't speak, which is kind of cool. But yeah, that's all right. Communication reasons, I guess it's useful. But yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, I personally don't think Zeke is dead, and I don't. I know Levi is not dead. Oh, if they kill Levi, that would be horrible writing. Yeah, that would be terrible. Yeah, no. Nah, so. I, I think that's it. I think we've pretty much wrapped it up. Um, I hope this was not the last episode before the midseason. I feel like we got at least one more, I would hope. What's your prediction for the, the next episode? Um, I'm going to... S- you, you did a good job predicting all the other ones uh, this episode. Yeah, I tried. Um, I honestly, I, I don't have much of a prediction. I think that Marley's going to pull up. Like, the Marley gang. Yeah, likely. I think they're going to show up, but I don't know what else is going to happen outside of that. I have a feeling that they're going to pull up, though. I, I think so, too. Yeah, I think Reiner and, um, uh, fuck, what's Falco's brother's name? Porco. Um, yeah. and whoever the, I know the Car Titan's already there. So, I think they're going to pull up. You know what? That's what's going to happen. Cart Titan is going to save Zeke again. Nigga, I just said that. What are you, you talking about? Oh. Well, said that five five minutes ago. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, my bad for stealing your shine. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so some Charlemagne. The- <laughs> <laughs> nah, that, that's what I think is going to happen. They only have three Titans left. They only got Reiner. Porco and Cart left? Porco is the claw? Yeah. I thought that was somebody else. No, that's the claw. Falco's brother's the claw. 
I thought Falco's brother was the tall, blonde-haired guy. The tall, blonde-haired guy has the claw. No, no, that's the guy. The claw guy has, like, the, the fade and then the orange hair. Falco's brother is the claw. I don't think so. I'm positive of that. I don't think so. Nigga, I'm positive. You're right, actually. You're right. I, I know. <laughs> I'm positive Falco's brother is the claw. I'm positive of that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You're right about that. Uh, all right. Well, I think that's all we got. Um, Unless you got anything else? Uh, I feel like I had something to say about Annie, but I guess I don't. You love Annie. I don't love Annie. Armin loves Annie. Birdhall loves Annie. What's the difference? <laughs> Good point. Good point. <laughs> All right. We can go ahead and end it out here. Uh, thank y'all. We'll give a brief recap of everything we just uh, said on the next episode of the podcast, too. So go ahead and check into that. If you fuck with these and like seeing us do these little, like, mini topics just about um anime episodes or even just about an album or some shit, uh, let us know in the comments and we'll do more of these. But thank y'all for checking it out. We out. Peace. Later.